a cup of tea. How is she? Are you the next of kin? No, no, she's um, my ex-wife. How bad is it? She was hit by a vehicle, so obviously it's very serious. Well, how serious? We've just done a CT scan. We need to relieve the pressure on the brain. What for? She has a brain contusion. We could have done a thing like this. Is there anyone else we need to inform, Mr. Tate? Mr. Tate? I've just had it confirmed by one of the stable lads that the horse has gone missing is Orsino. Value that? Oh, 300,000. Who owns it? The stud farm's jointly owned by Kim March and Lady Tara Oka. What's Kim Marchant's address? Orsino has been living in the village. Cottage next to the wall park. How do the thieves know which horse to take? Well, they're obviously professionals. They must have had the stud farm under surveillance for some time. They knew exactly which horse they wanted. They knew the exact time it took the security guard to complete his round. It was a very slick operation. Unfortunately, Mrs. Glover got in their way. How do you mean? Well, we still got some forensic tests to make, but we're pretty sure she was knocked down by the getaway vehicle. Inspector, have you heard any more news about her? No, I'm afraid not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and talk to... Uh, Lady Oakwell. Uh, no, I'd prefer it if you didn't disturb her just yet. No? Huh? It's her wedding tomorrow. I really don't want to spoil her day. <laughs> Can't you sleep? No. Are you all right? What's wrong? It's going to be all right. No matter how you look at it, it's never going to be the same between us, is it? It can be. No. Tomorrow I'm losing you. We'll still be together when Michael's not around. Is that what you want? I want you. If you won't lose me. Promise. All right. Chris. What are you doing here at this time of night? What is it? What's happened? Sorry, did I wake you? No, I haven't been asleep. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, my mind is buzzing. <laughs> Do you keep playing it over and over again in your head? Yeah. I'm so glad you talked me into it. I haven't felt this alive for years. You know, and I'm not even nervous about tomorrow. In fact, I'm actually looking forward to it. We are so clever. You know, I can't believe we got away with this. And what's better, we have now got a vicar as an alibi. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, of course. Hey. There's nothing to worry about. We have pulled off the perfect crime. Kim, we've got 200k. Why don't we just leave right now? What? 200k will go a long way in Venezuela. What are you saying? Just think about it. Think about it. If we run now, the police will know it's us. Steve, we have watertight alibis. They can't prove anything. So we stay with the plan. We wait until the insurance money comes through, then we move. What we don't do is panic. Right? Right, Steve. What time have you got to be at the registry office? Ah, uh, ten. You wouldn't do me a big favour. Be Michael's best man. The ha ha, really funny. Go on. Drive me there. Oh, you can't be serious. Yes. What, on the back of my bike? In my wedding dress. Don't be ridiculous. 
So, it's one last job for the show for then. But if it's not the end, it's the start. Yeah. Mm. Yes. she was doing out there on her own. Well, she'd been out with Biff for the night. I mean, why wasn't he with her? Hiya. Thanks for phoning, Rachel. How is she? They're still operating. We're just waiting. Oh, my God. Kathy? How is she? Is she going to be all right? She's in a stable condition. All we can do now is wait. So she is going to pull through? It's too early to say. So what are you saying? Are you saying she could still die? We'd like to know the truth, Doctor. She had a very serious blow to the head. So you're saying that Kathy might die? It's possible. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Kinmarchant? Yes? Detective Inspector Spaulding. May I come in? Yeah, is there a problem? Uh, this is my husband, Steve. Is there a problem? I'm afraid there was a theft last night at your stud farm. What? A horse called Orsino was stolen. Oh, you're not serious. Afraid so. Orsino is worth... 300,000, I know. Well, how did it happen? It was planned very carefully. Whoever did it knew the stud farm security like the back of their hand. I don't believe it. Or see now. Now, we need a statement from both of you. I wonder if you'd mind coming down to the station. Of course not. Go. Um, there is one other thing you should know. Oh? A local woman was knocked down by the robbers when they were getting away. Well, who? Her name is Kathy Glover. She suffered severe head injuries. She may not pull through. She's on a life support machine. Are you sure you don't mind telling Betty? Of course not. Right, I'll, I'll drop Joseph for you. Long arm of the law's caught up with them two. <laughs> What's up? Something up in there. The stead farm got broken into last night. Kathy got knocked down and she's in intensive care. Oh my god. Turned up at the dining room. What's happened? Glad you could make it. Hello. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Lovely day for the wedding. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Where's Tara? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought she was coming with you. She was. She left the restaurant early last night. And she wasn't at Oakwell Hall when I called this morning. So, what about all the trouble last night, then? Oh, forget it. What's it matter now? True. Should we not bother opening today, then, as a mark of respect to Cathy? Well, certainly not. As at times like this, the people need a meeting place. Poor Cathy. I can hardly believe it.
So. So. Another three weeks, and I'll be back in the country. It's not long. It's long enough. And then we can have a whole week together. Michael's away on business in the Far East. I'm feeling just the same as you. So don't get married. If. No. I mean, it, it's not too late. We've been through all this. I thought you'd agreed. Come on, Beth. If you want the truth, I think this whole business stinks. This is not a game, Tara. This is people's lives. I love you. And I love you too. I couldn't do what you're doing. And I won't play these games. So I'm telling you now. You marry him. And we're finished. So the merchants are bankrupt? Apart from Kim's half share in the stud fund, yeah, they both lost everything. You see, I ask myself two questions. Who's got inside knowledge of the stud? And who's going to gain most from the theft? And the answer to both these questions is Kim Marchant. <laughs> you agree? Well, I'd like to. I don't like the woman. But to be honest, Inspector, this, this really isn't her style. Sorry, am I late? No. Oh, only we had a little crisis. With Tara? You, you mean with Tara? No, we had a break-in at the stud farm last night. That's why Kim and Steve aren't here. But I think we should keep it from Tara till after the wedding. Where is Tara? Shouldn't she be here by now? Don't do this to me, Biff. I'm not the one that's getting married. We'd agreed. Couldn't you see how unhappy I was about the idea? Well, I knew that you had a few doubts. A few doubts? Oh. Look, what you want us to do, it's not right. It doesn't feel right. When two people love each other, they want to spend their life together. It doesn't matter if they've no money or whether they like chalk and cheese. I know what you're saying. And after last night, how could you marry him? The night before you get wed, how could you do that? Sorry to keep you waiting. Is there any more news about Cathy? You seem very concerned about her. Oh, well, of course I'm concerned. I've known her for years. So, is there any more news? She's come through the operation, but it's still touch and go. She's on a life support machine. Do you know what actually happened? The senior crime officer reckons the horse box hit her full on. It's a miracle she wasn't killed outright. So where were you last night when Mrs. Glover was knocked down? We were having dinner at home with Zoe, my stepdaughter from my first marriage, and the vicar. We didn't go out all night. This is ridiculous. She isn't coming. She will. Have you seen the time? Tara's not the greatest of timekeepers. Tara! <laughs> Tara? What's going on? I have to talk to you. Zoe. Okay, as soon as I have the news, it's just awful. It's such a shock. I know. Poor Cathy. Is there anything I can do? Yes, there is. Look. When Steve comes out, could you drive us to the hospital? I'd really like to see her. Of course. Why did they bring you in? I suppose with the obvious suspects. Oh. They wanted to know our whereabouts at the time of the robbery. Well, that's hardly sensitive. No mistake you're in. Thanks for coming in, Mr. Marchant. I don't think we need bother you again. For the time being. Uh, Zoe. Is Zoe to it? Ah. Yes. I believe you want me to confirm that I spent the evening with Steve and Kim. 
Did you? Yes, they never left the house all night. Look, uh, this has been very traumatic for both of them, so uh, can they go? For now. Go on, take you to the hospital. Thanks. I can't marry you, Michael. Why not? And I tell you why. There's no way that you'd want to marry me. Tell me. Last night, I spent the night with Biff. I'm sorry. How could you do that to me? I don't want to hurt you, Michael. But I can't give up Biff. You don't want to hurt me? Of course I don't. Then marry me. What? I don't want to lose you, Tara. You've already lost her. Haven't you listened? I've waited years for the opportunity to spend my life with you. Do you think I'm going to give up so easily? But after what I've done to you? Not to marry me would be far more painful. I know you think you're in love. I am. But it's an infatuation of opposites. That's all it is. And once that's worn away, what do you have left? And what are you offering? A loveless marriage? It won't be loveless. Far from it. Tara will be greatly loved. And in her own way, she also loves me. No. She doesn't. Oh, yes, she does. Of course, it's not the all-consuming passion that's on offer from you. It's something much stronger and longer-lasting, based on respect, caring, and friendship. So I'm asking you again, Tara. Marry me. Tara? Tara? You can't make up your mind, can you? Can you? Can you? Well, I'll make it up for you. You marry him. Because what we've got, us two, that's not enough for you, is it? If you don't understand. No, I think I do. This all boils down to me with nothing and him with... You're scared of losing your fancy lifestyle. And that means you care for that more than you do for me. You were enough for me, Tara. But the truth is, you don't love me as much as I love you or you wouldn't be studying, not knowing what to do. So you go ahead. You marry him. Because I tell you this much. We've no future. Biff. Shall we? Whoever's done this to Cathy wants stringing up. You're right, Dad. Has there been any more news from hospital? It ain't looking good. Yeah, well, I'd like to get my hands on whoever did it. Aye. Join the queue. I'm sorry. How are you? I'm fine, considering. How are you? Okay. Good. Hi, Terry. Look, mate, I'm not still bored, am I? <laughs> Joking. If I barred everybody, it was a bit out of order. There'd be no one left. What are you having? Um, I'll have uh, a mineral water, please, mate. Two of them. <laughs> What's up with you then, buddy? You don't remember? Remember what? I'm looking for Alan Turner. Uh, who's asking? Trisha. Trisha Stokes. I'm an old friend. Is Ian? The doctor said we should uh, keep talking to her. The funny thing is that when I'm at the tea rooms, I'm always going on at her about some at her other, but now I don't know what to say. Oh, Betty, just say the first thing that comes out of your mind. After all the hard work she did changing them tea rooms, and then this happens. 
How are you, Betty? She's taking it very badly. Why don't we get a cup of tea? Give me Stevie here now and... Uh... Yeah, that's a good idea. Why, why don't you do that, Betty? Come on, nice cup of tea. Well, I'd better be getting back. Terry's on his own. I'll see you later. OK. Hi, uh, you're best waiting in here. When are you expecting him back? Well, he's going to see a friend in hospital. Shouldn't be long. Make yourself at home. I'd say and keep you company myself, but uh, I've got my hands full. Terry, I'm gasping. Hey, I, I've only got two hands. Do you want a hand, Terry? Eh? Well, I've got plenty of experience. Oh, have you now? Of bar work. Yeah, all right, then. Go on. Now, what do you want? Another pound of lager for starters. What about me? You're next. Uh, what's the news, Al? Not good. Death is very, very ill. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Hmm? You don't recognise me, do you? Should I? I'm Trisha. Trisha Stokes. I'm your granddaughter. Um, if there's anything I can do, just... Just give me a ring. Uh, thanks, Zoe. Bye. Bye. Hey. What have I done? What have I done? You haven't done anything. I have. It's obvious. That deer you thought you hit when we were on the phone, it wasn't a deer, it was Kathy. Oh, God. I realise that now. I didn't even see her. If I only had seen her, I'd have been... It wasn't your fault. It's mine. No. It is. I worked out the detailed plan. I was the one who pushed it. It was my phone call that took your eyes off the road. Kathy might die. 